For today's video, I'm going to be explaining all of the different ways you can currently earn Spring It On Gold. But first, I wanted to quickly point out that they showed us what the new utility item is going to be. Once you log in and see the news updates, you'll see the new clinger. And it's going to be able to stick to surfaces as well as husk. So I believe it's going to be like a sticky bomb. And I believe you're going to be able to find this the same way you do impulse grenades and remote explosives. Just search containers throughout the map and you should be able to get this new clinger. The second thing I wanted to point out is patch 3.6 is supposed to be released at 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So yeah, those were a couple things I wanted to point out first. Now when it comes to farming seasonal gold, it seems like the way you earn gold changes with every event. During the Christmas event, we were able to earn gold by killing mini bosses. During the Luck of the Storm event, we were able to earn gold by launching fireworks and collecting the red envelopes that they dropped. I believe it was every 40 envelopes that you collected, you would get an extra 100 spring it on gold. But for this event, there's a couple of different ways you can earn gold. One way is to complete missions, and the amount of gold that you get from a mission is determined by the difficulty as well as the level of the loot chest that you get at the end of the mission. So try to fill up the combat, building, and utility bars, and whatever other objectives are required for that mission. Basically try to get the best loot chest you can, because the better the loot chest, the more gold you're going to get. So one way to earn gold is just by doing missions. Another way you can earn gold is to increase the difficulty on defense missions. As you can see in this example, I increased the difficulty once, and after you complete the mission and look at the reward screen, you'll see how much extra gold you get for completing the mission with increased difficulty. And I believe the more you increase the difficulty, the more extra gold you're gonna get. In this example, we only increased it once. And we used to get tickets as well as gold whenever we increased the difficulty, but the way it's currently set up is that you'll only get extra gold. Another way you can earn Spring It On Gold is by doing the Survive the Storm event. After completing the level 76 3 day Survive the Storm, I was able to get 100 Spring It On Gold. And after completing the level 76 7 day Survive the Storm, I was able to get 260 Spring It On Gold. And the final way, which is probably the best way to earn gold, is to do Mutant Storms. Because if you look under quests, you'll see that there's an Endless Storms quest which gives you extra spring it on gold every time you complete two mutant storm missions. And the mutant storm missions are the ones that have the purple storm around it. And that way not only will you get the gold from completing a regular mission, but you also get the extra gold after completing two mutant storm missions. So as you can see in this example, we were doing a level 82 retrieve the data mutant storm mission. And this was the second mutant storm mission that I had done. So not only did we get 103 gold just by completing the mission, but we also completed the Endless Storms quest, which gave us an extra 100 gold. And in my opinion, this is the fastest way to earn gold by doing Mutant Storms over and over again. Seems like I was able to earn gold faster when compared to Survive the Storm. And since increasing the difficulty no longer gives tickets, I don't really see a whole lot of people trying to increase the difficulty. But if you would like to get even more gold when doing these mutant storms, then you can try that as well. And I guess the last thing I should point out when it comes to mutant storms is that there is a cap on the mutant storm rewards. You can only earn 10 of those every day, but there is no cap when it comes to this endless storms quest. So you can do as many mutant storms as you want and get extra gold every time you complete two mutant storms. And that sums up all of the different ways you can currently earn spring it on gold. Again, it does change from event to event. If they come out with a new way to earn gold, I'll be sure to let you all know the best way to farm it. Anyways, that'll do it for this one. I hope y'all found the video useful, and thanks for watching.